Hey friends, this is Anwar Sidana, and this is my fourth lecture on my series of lectures on API.ai. And in my previous videos, I just taught you about the basics of API.ai and also how you can embed API.ai Android SDK inside your project. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and watch those videos first because it would be helpful uh, in this video to if you have learned the previous concepts. So in this video, I'm going to use get and post REST API calls to make our own first API.ai chatbot. So yes friends, we are going to make our first API.ai chatbot in this video series and we would use REST API calls like get or post calls to make this, uh, to make this chatbot and so first of all we are uh, what about this chatbot would be so this chatbot uh, would be basically about the event queries so we are going to make a chatbot who would answer the event queries asked by the users so like this uh, we are organizing an event and we want to make a chatbot which can answer the queries of the users so let's uh, so first of all let's give me uh, let's let me show you the demo app So here's our app and seriously it's looking cool. So what this app is actually doing, here we can see that this is the button and tap on the mic to speak. So this is basically a button and when we click on this button it would just show a prompt to record the human voice, to record the user query. So we can see that when we click it, so it just show, show this prompt and after that so we can see that it is user say so below user say there is a text view so whatever user will say the user saying will appear here below the user say and after that this query this user query will be sent to the our api.ai agent and the agent would process it and the response returned by our agent will be shown here under the response so like uh, let me give you the example so when we click on this and let's say when is the event and let's say so it's also recorded let's say and when is the event so this is basically a user query regarding the event like user is asking when is the event and this query would be shown here below user it and I haven't added the functionality yet so it's not processing and our API.a agent is not returning the data and basically the response returned by our API.a agent would be shown here under the response so friends I just show you the demo app and building this app is basically a two-step process so first of all we would have to add the fun this functionality to our api.ai agent so basically we would have to make a new agent which can respond to the queries of users regarding this event so first step is the console side work like we have to make a new agent and add this functionality to our agent and the second step is our android app so we would make a new android application and with, from there we would make calls to this api.ai agent so that's it in this video we would be doing the console side work like making a new agent and adding this functionality so first of all just go to your api.ai account and login and login and in previous videos i just taught you how to make a new api.ai agent so i have made a new agent called test and this is these are the default fallback or default welcome intents so after that we just have to make some intents in this api.a so first of all what is an intent so let's take the example of our own app like we are going to make a app which can respond to the queries of users regarding an event so a user can ask different questions regarding the event like when is the event and where is the event and where can I register these many questions a user can ask and basically every different question or every different query represent an intent so we would have to make a different intent for every user query so these are the intents and our api.ai agent 
would process uh, the user saying or user query and then process that query and after that it would check that if that query matches with the available intents uh, inside it so i would uh, i would uh, describe it later so first of all an intent is basically a, a different user query an intent represent a different user query so we are going to make some different intents in this app for this app like uh, so first of all create a new intent so let me show you how can you create a new intent so we are basically making a new intent called when when event so uh, we would just name it when event so it would just dis describe that when is the event so when event and after that user says so what can users say about this it so we have named it when event and a user can ask queries like when is the event so just add it here user saying is added here so when is the event so press enter and you can see that it is added so now it's still asking for add user expression why so so basically uh, i just said you that an intent represented a different query of the user so different users can ask the same question in different ways like a user can ask when is the event and second user can ask what is the date of event and so many users can ask the same question in different variants so these are basically the different variants so our api.ai agent would process those different variants using nlp so we can add as much variants as we can and it would just increase the efficiency of our api.ai agent so i would just add a uh, one more expression like what date of event center so this is it so we have added the two user expressions in when event intent then after that you can see that actions and parameters and you don't have to worry about it i would just explain it in my upcoming videos so for general knowledge like actions are the actions to be performed after we process a query and these are just named and after that the, the parameters can be taken a taken as variable present inside the user query like i'm the user and i say my name is anurag so anurag is a variable and variable name is name and and its value is anurag so sometimes we may have a need to process the vari uh, variable values from the user query so at that time we would be using parameters and all so don't worry i would explain in detail in my upcoming videos so we just have to add the user expression and after that we have to add the response returned by the our api.ai agent so it is a text response so just add the response regarding this question like what is the date of event so i would add the event is on 15 july so that's it and press enter so we have added a response and it's still asking for one another response so why so so basically when the user asks the question that when is the event and our agent would reply in that the event is on 15th of july and when the same user asks this question again then our agent would try to respond uh, with the different response present in text responses so this was basically just made our uh, will make our agent more natural we can say okay so that's it we have added and let's say i would add one another response like it's it's on 15th of july then press enter and that's it uh, we have added the user query and response returned by our agent then press save So we can check that this event has been added or uh, intent has been added or not by trying this here right now. So I would just ask the query like when when is the event. So we can see that our agent is replying and saying that the event is on 15th of July so we can a uh, user can ask uh, a co the same question with a different variant like the what is the event 
day so here we can see that it's still answering because it is processing this this query using NLP natural language processing and here we can see the click on the show JSON and it would sh just show the JSON data returned by the agent so when we would call this agent using the post call and then this agent would reply the data in this format JSON format so here we can see that this is a query which we would send in our post request so this is what is the event date and the speech return the response returned by the agent is here it's on 15th of July so just close it and after that just come to intents and we are gonna add some more intents like this this is the when intent when intent when event intent we are we are gonna add uh, that uh, event register so that intent would answer like uh, give the URL where we where the user can register and some more intents you can add of your own choice so just pause this video here and add intents whatever you want to add here so here I have added some more intents in my agent like uh, uh, this was the when, uh, when event we added previously and I have added where event and register event so we can see that where event is just uh, telling the user that where is the event so when user asks where is the event so it would just tell that the event is in this place and this place you can add whatever you want this is like whatever you want you can add it so what is the event event venue I have added three user different different user expressions then after that this was the where intent then after that I have register event so in register register event intent I have added the user saying that user query that where can I register or registration link so I have added uh, the link google.com so you can add whatever you want so these are the intents I have added so these are the intents so our user our agent now can respond to almost every query related to registration or uh, where venue venue or date of the event and so now our agent is ready now and in our next video i'll be teaching you how can you use this api.ai agent inside your android app so that's it my friends and hope you like the video so subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you